All right, so you're building a website for a customer. How to get started with it? All right, so you can take advantage of, if you have free websites, you can do that, or you can start a new project for it. But let's say that you have uh, three or, or 10 free websites. You can go into the website section and you can just create a new one. So you have to assess again, what are the needs of the customer? What are they trying to do with it? If they're going to be selling or just presenting their business in it. So you can select one of the designs. Obviously, uh, there is different industries that you can select designs from. Uh, here we have just a few enabled, but uh, let's say that they are, uh, let's say a yoga studio. And just select this design. And as you know, let's say yoga two. And as you know, we have this personalization uh, available if you want. We have a separate video for it, but this can help you personalize the website of a customer right away it can save you so much time because if the customer have already a logo or an old website that is really bad you can just use the logo that they have use the brand cover that they have and if the template that you are selecting has like you know phone number and other things that are using the personalization data you can just type it in and basically in less than 30 seconds you have a personalized website so let's say the customer has I don't know, their brand is, is yellow, orange, and uh, their company's code, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, company, <laughs> just um, company's code company, for the example. Uh, let's make it uh, white, no, let's make it, I don't know, orange, again, that's it. Just this is the company's comp logo. Uh, if you have any information, you can add it there as well. And that's it. And just like that, we selected this design and we personalized the website with the logo, with if we had the personalization tags with the, with the email, with the location, with the phone number. And as you can see, the cover is also changed. So this kind of saves time. So you're trying to approach, uh, so this is very great if you're trying to approach a customer with a, with a design. So if you haven't signed them in just yet, but you're trying to show them an amazing design that they can use, uh, that you can also modify more, but you know, something to make them, you know, turn into a customer. And just for five minutes, you can do this customization, add a few headlines from their existing website or just generic about their business. Um, and that's it. You can actually do just that. You can do just that, save it and share it to them. Just basically a few minutes. And here is a website that uh, we quickly created for you. Uh, we can personalize it more, of course, but here it is some, some things that we've made. You can, you can, uh, we can give it even access and it's very, very inexpensive. Let's say $30 a month, no cost for creation. That's it. You can get inside, get access and have an amazing results. That's one way. All right. But if you're building for a customer that who already paid for the design and or you're you know, building the actual website. So first, again, assess what the business wants. First, is it is it sales? If it's sales, obviously you're building type of an e-commerce, e-commerce with store products. Uh, so you're in the messaging, you're going to talk about, you know, the product a bit and getting into the store showing a few products there so obviously different type of templates you should be selecting if it's about let's say a yoga studio what is the main idea here to show maybe the courses and for people to book an appointment or or to get access or to call so you have to assess that and all the call to actions the main call to actions in the header for example is to get people to the next page or to make a call whatever is is the main 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 uh, you know idea of this of this website for so you need to ask this understand this from your customer to ask them to see okay what exactly you want this website to do do you want it to get calls do you want it to get you know form submits do you want people to just read something and uh, and calling you so make sure that the page does that uh, make it straightforward good spacings clear call to action clear uh, headings and not not too much text just enough to give enough information because people have really small attention spans so make sure that it is straight to the point right away show some of the benefits again what are the benefits some happy customers some you know information uh, if you have pricing you can show that as well 
Uh, and again, testimonials, maybe blog articles, not really necessary in the homepage, but if you wish, and some kind of a way for contacts and footer. So very straight to the point. Uh, so this is about this type of a website, but again, always have it into, you know, take into the, under consideration what a customer needs, but always discuss the benefits and the things that they want to achieve to make sure that you create these type of pages. All right, so what else you can do when building a website? Obviously, you can set up all the different pages that they might need. Uh, always keep the same consistency, all the same styling and branding throughout the different designs. You can also add a few funnels if they have different campaigns that they might be running. Be running. Uh, you can also have a funnel for split test your homepage, which is very, very straightforward. This is like something of a, of a extra thing that you can add for the customer. It's obviously not necessary, but if you want, you can split test the homepage just like a funnel, just by creating a, you know, going to the funnels, creating an empty funnel. Like, uh, let me show you, home funnel uh, yoga, for example. Just like that, we've created our, uh, you know, home page, home funnel for a yoga. Uh, let's add it inside the website. So it is inside it. And all we have to do is make this home page, home funnel to a home page. That's it. All we have to do is move your home page inside the home funnel and you're ready to split test. So let's find it. Um, yeah and that's it you just have your home page oh is it yeah so you have your home page as your as your main page and now you can split test it the way you want so you can just go here you can click on a b test duplicate it and now you can split test your home page you can split test your homepage, try different headings, different things to see what might be converting the most. This is something very unique because you cannot do this basically with any system. You cannot split test a homepage and see what might be working the most. Uh, but in order to, to see results, actually, you have to have a next step. So if the idea of this homepage is getting people to the, I don't know, to the appointment page, you just have to add the appointment page there. So if it is the contact page in your website, we just, uh, yeah, we just move our appointment page again into the funnel. And that's it. Now we have our home page and we have our contact page, which is, uh, as you can see here, we can track the conversion of how many people from the home page went into our contact page. By this, we can judge if which, which of the uh, two versions, uh, you know, did the most because uh, might be the heading or the buttons or, or different things that you've done as changes might have resulted in better uh, better conversions uh, so what else is important for building a website obviously keep it consistent you can use the blocks if you're building different types of, of things for uh, for your customers different call to actions different you know services etc so this can save you so much time but keep in mind that when you have a white label you can fully customize and create your own uh, you know blocks and designs for all these things so if you don't like the design of, of these designs you can just go inside your white label into templates and you can fully fully customize it by going to again to your white label into templates uh, you can create for websites, for whole funnels, for pages, or for blogs, and for pop-ups. So you can fully customize all the page designs and all the pop-up designs and all the blog designs and funnel designs the way you want. So this is the great thing because if you're going after a specific niche market, uh, so you can create fully uh, designs fully for that for for that specific uh, uh, for that specific niche to be as, as, uh, as simple for you to build out the websites or for your customers to do so. What else that you need to consider? SEO, if you're doing it's very straightforward, uh, obviously you can go into website settings, page SEO to add for each page, or you can do it from the pages and uh, you can do it for each individual page like this. 
Uh, these are some of the basics. Obviously, we have a whole section about building websites and do, do different things about the websites, menus, editing headers, uh, store, engage, etc. But the great thing about having a website, having a, uh, a funnel for a customer is that they also get the free CRM. So this is something that is connected with the, all websites and funnels and they can take advantage for free. They can see their conversions, they can see their uh, new form submits easily here that are being populated right away and they can monitor it from their phone, on the go, anywhere basically for the websites and for the photos. So this is how you start your website. You can modify it very simply to order in order to um, onboard somebody or you can start building fully customizable pages for them. But again, keep it consistent and straight to the uh, benefits and goals of that customer. So clear call to actions, nice headings and clear, clear, clear design is what sells nice navigation as well if it's a website to get the customer to the desired location uh, so this is it and uh, we'll have again like i said more videos about building funnels building websites so you can check them out in more details how to do specific things but these are the basics in a nutshell building a website for a customer and the basic things that you need to consider